Iron Pistons fans, so in today's video, we are going to be talking about Jalen Green and Kay Cunningham. I am finally doing it. I am finally comparing the two players. Um, I recently did a breakdown of both Jalen Green and Kay Cunningham. I recommend that before you watch this full video, go watch both of those videos in their entirety so that you can really get an understanding of where I'm coming from and how I feel about these players so that you can understand Kay Cunningham's game and then you understand Jalen Green's game and where they came from. So first and foremost, I'm going to give you guys the stats. So Jalen Green averaged 18 points on the G League team. K Cunningham averaged 20 points. They both averaged three assists. K Cunningham averaged six rebounds. Jalen Green averaged three rebounds. And from the three-point line, Jalen Green was at 36% from three, and K Cunningham was at 40% from three. And at the free throw line, Jalen Green was at 82%, and K Cunningham was at 84%. And I quickly want to mention a little bit of accolades. K Cunningham was the Big 12 Freshman of the Year and the Big 12 Player of the Year. So he did that in college. And also, a thing that's kind of funny to me is that in high school, Jalen Green was ranked number one and Kay Cunningham was ranked number two. But then once they got to college, the roles flipped. Now Kay Cunningham is the number one guy and Jalen Green is the number two guy. And there's reasons for that, so let's get into this. So I feel like personally, you go Kay Cunningham. When you look at everything and you truly look at both players, Kay Cunningham has the full package. He has the perfect ability of scoring, defense, leadership, making his teammates better. All around, man, K. Cunningham has the full package. And when you look at someone like Jalen Green, no, no offense to him, Jalen Green is, for the most part, one-dimensional. He is a scorer. That's all he brings to you. He'll give you the highlight plays. He'll give you the highlight dunks. He'll show off his handle. He'll score the ball. But at the end of the day, he's not someone who really has an all-around game. His defense is average at best, and that's being nice. And his playmaking is average at best. Whereas when you look at someone like Kay Cunningham, his playmaking is elite. Now, I know he only averaged three assists in college, but that's because the players at OSU are not that good. He passed them the ball, and they weren't knocking down shots. So he has elite playmaking ability. He has elite shooting ability, averaging 40% from the three-point line. All of his coaches and teammates say he is a really, really great leader. He has great court vision. He has really good rebounding ability, averaging six rebounds. So I feel like overall, when you look at the totality of Kay Cunningham's game, he has the all-around game. You know, he compared himself to Luka Doncic, and I'm going to be making a video on that soon. He compared himself to Luka Doncic, and when you look at someone like Luka, what does he do? He makes his teammates better. He can score the ball. He can pass the ball. Now, Luka isn't the greatest on defense, but Kay Cunningham, in contrast, is pretty good on defense. So if you take the slight player comparison between Kay Cunningham and Luka Doncic, think about that prototype. I really, really like it because when you look at Jalen Green's prototype, he's just a guy who scores the ball. No offense to him, but that's what he is. He's not someone who's going to give you defense. He's not going to make his teammates better. He's not a passer. He's not a leader. He is a two guard. He'll give you highlights. He'll give you all the flashy plays, but he's not really someone who's going to make his teammates better. You know, Jalen Green, I feel like he's someone, he could be a number two option, whereas Kay Cunningham is going to be the number one option on the team. I feel like Kay is a franchise player, and I feel like Jalen Green is going to be someone who's just going to end up being a star. You know, picking a star second overall, that, that would be pretty good. But us at the first overall pick, I don't want a star. I want a superstar. And K.A. Cunningham has superstar potential. Jalen Green, I feel like he's a number two. He has star potential. No disrespect. He is the best scorer in this draft. He's a three-level scorer. He can score inside, mid-range, outside. Jalen Green is the definition of a scorer. He has amazing hops. It's just that he's going up against Kay Cunningham, and on all levels, I feel like I have to give the, the edge to Cade. And I'm thinking about fit. How are these guys gonna fit on the Pistons? And when I look at Jalen Green, yeah, he's gonna fit with Killian Hayes because Killian is a pass-first point guard, so he'll just give Jalen Green the ball, and Jalen Green could do his thing. But I'm thinking about the other players and how he'll fit with them, and I don't really think that Jalen Green is gonna fit well with the other players. He'll fit decent with the other guys, but not necessarily great with them because on the defensive end of the floor Jalen Green is going to end up being a liability whereas when you look at someone like Kay Cunningham he fits with Killian Hayes he fits with Sadiq Bey he fits with the guys at the starting position and he plays much much better defense than Jalen Green does so I feel like when we look at fit as well you have to give the edge to Kay Cunningham now let's talk about how the organization feels about the players now I've done my research I haven't heard them say one thing about Jalen Green I'm sure they think he's a fantastic player but from what I hear they say that the guys at the top are pretty good but there is one guy who they really really like and that guy is Kay Cunningham when you watch Troy Weaver speak he's spoken multiple times before about Kay Cunningham I haven't heard him speak about Jalen Green when you look at Dwayne Casey in that interview with Doug Gottlieb they were talking about Kay Cunningham and comparing him to Penny Hardaway and Grant Hill I haven't heard him do any comparisons like that to Jalen Green 
Now, I'm sure they think Jalen Green is a good player and they will do their research on him. But from everything I heard the management say, it sounds like their guy is Cade Cunningham as well. So when you look at all levels, guys, when you look at the statistics, when you look at what they are as players, how they fit on the team, the organization, how they feel about the players, on all levels, I feel like Cade Cunningham is the guy. Even when you look at the video of when Cade Cunningham found out that the Pistons won the draft lottery, you heard his friend in the background saying, we about to turn Detroit up. It just feels like, man, you go Cade Cunningham and you think about the rest later. So that's my take on it. Maybe I'm being a little bit too harsh. Maybe y'all can convince me in the comment section below reasons why y'all think we should go with Jalen Green. I feel like if we're gonna draft this pick, if we're not trading it away, you have to go K Cunningham. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe y'all can convince me in the comment section below. Or maybe some of you guys agree with me in the comment section below. Just if you have any comments at all, let me know in the comment section below. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank y'all for 1K and I'm out.